Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Platform of Learning Linguistics. Today we are going to talk about the second important stage of Piaget's theory of cognitive development and that is pre-operational stage. This stage starts from the second year of a child and it continues till the seventh year. And the important thing in this stage is that, that in this stage, pre-operational stage, children are unable to perform mental operations. And that is why this stage is called pre-operational stage. The children in this stage can think, but illogically, or their reasoning is immature at this stage. For instance, they may say that it is hot because it is not night. Or they may say the older you are, the taller you are. But all these kinds of reasons are illogical or they are immature. Now, this stage is divided into two sub-stages, which are symbolic function substage and the intuitive thought substage. And now let's discuss one by one in detail. Now the first one, symbolic function substage, starts from the second year of a child and it continues till the fourth one. In this stage, a child has almost got the ability to understand, represent and remember abstract things as we have studied in the concept of object permanence. We have already discussed this concept in our previous video and if you don't know about this concept you can go to the description box where the link has already been given. And it is also important to note that in this stage, the children are unable to calculate the information in a logical way. But now, in order to understand this substage in a better way, let's discuss some characteristics of the children in this stage. Number first is the egocentrism. In this stage, the children are egocentric. They think that what the children think is the right thing or is the absolute truth. They do not know about the others' opinions or views. And that is why this stage or this characteristic is called egocentrism. We can say in simple words that egocentric children cannot stand in another person's shoes. For instance, a child of this age may say, Daddy, buy or purchase this toy for me. And the daddy may say that, No, there is better toy. Now, the children will again say, No, daddy, this one. Because what he thinks, he thinks that it is the absolute truth and the only thing that is true. Now, the second characteristic of children in this stage is pre-causal thinking. This type of thinking is totally based on children's own existing ideas or views. Now, in this, in this, this is the characteristics in which a child may develop his own cause and in effect relationship. For instance, they may say the stars twinkle in the sky because they are happy. The third important characteristic of this stage or substage is called the transductive reasoning. And this is a kind of reasoning in which one goes from something specific to something specific. For instance, the children, they may say that mouse is a rat because the mouse has a long scaly tail too. Or they may go from the particular thing that is dog. They may say that dog 
is a pig because both have four legs. And now let's discuss the second substage of the pre-operational stage and that is intuitive thought substage. This stage starts from the fourth year of a child and it continues till the seventh one. And in this stage the reasoning of children totally depends on their intuition or deep inner feelings. And in order to understand this substage in a better way, now let's discuss the different characteristics of this stage. The first one is called the centration. This is the characteristics in which children focus on a single characteristic of a situation. For instance, if you show them, the, the children in this stage, these two lines and you ask the question that which line has more circles, they will directly point out to the second one and they will only focus on the length of this second line and they will ignore the number of circles. Or the children of this stage may say the taller you are, the older you are. They will ignore all the other aspects such as maturity or the com coming of your beard, so on and so forth. Now, the second important characteristic of this type substage is conservation. Conservation means the ability to remember the quantity of something. But the children of this stage, they do not or they cannot remember or they do not have the ability to remember the quantity of something. For instance, if you show them these three glasses and you ask them the question that which of these glasses has more water, they will directly point out to the third one because of centration and because they do not have the ability to remember the quantity of water in these three glasses. Although all these three glasses have the same amount of water, so this type of ability where you can remember the quantity of something is called conservation but children of this stage do not have this ability. Now the third important characteristic of the children of this stage is irreversibility. And irreversibility means that the children of this stage are unable to reverse the sequence of something. For instance, you might have observed children when they lock their the door from the inside and then they you know go on weeping and they cannot reverse this action. They, they cannot unlock this door although they themselves have locked this door from the inside. Another important characteristic of this stage is the transitive inference. Transitive inference means using previous or the existing knowledge to determine the missing piece of information or to predict something on the basis of what you already have. For instance, but if the children, they are asked this question that if A is greater than B and B is greater than C, then A is greater than C or not, they will not have this ability to do the transitive inference, to, uh, to to answer this question that whether A is greater than C or not because they lack the, this ability of transitive inference. They cannot infer from what information they already have. So it was all about the pre-operational stage and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon in order to receive the notifications of the remaining videos as well.